Alright guys, welcome back to another video and you probably noticed that the sound on this video is a little bit different and also my computer screen is slightly different and that's because I'm on my laptop right now and the reason that I'm filming this on my laptop is because we're going to download a new piece of software in this tutorial and I already have it installed on my other computer so I didn't want to install it again and mess everything up but what we're going to be installing is called a Python IDE. It's the last piece of software that we need to install because this little program right here, it's really good for learning basic commands and testing stuff out. But whenever we want to make an actual Python program, it's good to work with a bunch of files and, you know, just use something a little more advanced. So what I'm going to be showing you guys how to install is this Python IDE. Now it doesn't matter what IDE you choose, but this is my favorite. It's called Pyth, excuse me, Whoa. I feel like I'm gonna puke. What if I just start puking in the middle of this video? It would be hilarious. But nonetheless, choose any IDE you want. I'm gonna be using PyCharm, and in order to get this, this is the website right here, jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. And my laptop is in the living room so I can hear people driving by all the time. Anyways, go ahead and click Get PyCharm. And I actually have the professional edition because, I don't know, I just um, use it all the time. But if you click download, then what it's going to do, just like before, is it's going to give you downloads this file right here. Now, double click this, and let's see if I remember how to install it. Yes, you can have permission. Next. I agree. Next. And might as well create a shortcut. Pretty much stick with all of the defaults. Also, if uh, you ever want to change anything, then you can just change it in the program. But for now, just stick with the defaults. There's like a guy, I don't know if he's weed eating or mowing or... Sounds like he's using a huge electric toothbrush, but whatever. Alright, so finish that. And now, we can close this out. I like to clean everything up see you later window and double click it and see what we got now okay what's it say you can import sentence from previous version and nope this is my first time installing so just click OK and of course um, if you don't have a license key yet then you just have a 30 day free tri trial but so again I don't have a license key not for this computer I actually have one for my other computer don't know if I could use it for this one And of course, if you have a license key, if you bought the full version, then you can enter it here. However, we can just choose Evaluate Free for 30 days to see if we like this IDE first. Let me read this real quick. Okay, I read it. I read it. Trust me. All right, now this baby can load up, and it says a couple of things that we have to start with. Key map, IDE, let's see. This is just a theme, which is pretty much the colors. I actually like um, Dark Hila. This is the one that I use. And, okay, so this is pretty much just a highlighting of your syntax. And I'm going to be using this first, so hopefully it shows up good in my videos. If not, I have to switch some from uh, something else. Yep. All right, so it just pretty much says whenever you pick a new theme, you have to restart it. And that's what's happening right now. So now, once you got your theme, you see everything's cool and dark now. Pretty sweet. All right, so in order to start using this IDE of course you need to create a new project and a project is pretty much where all of your files are stored so the project name for this is just gonna be like um I'll name it YouTube and whenever you type in your project name it automatically fills in the location right here so don't change them like manually and the project type it can just be an empty project for now and everything else is good whenever you download this IDE it automatically finds your interpreter, which is pretty much um, Python, the very first thing we downloaded in the first video. So that's what this is choosing right now. So it's pretty cool how it's, you know, it sets everything up for you. And of course, this is OK Windows. And I actually don't like these tips, even though they're helpful. So close out that. And now check it out. We now have a pretty cool IDE. But where the heck is our, you know, where the heck can we type stuff in? Well, if you expand 
this right here it's going to show all your files and we don't have any files yet so what we need to do is right click our project name mine's YouTube and we're going to write new Python file so our project can have a bunch of different files it can even have like um, text files in it images if we're working with images but for right now let's create a basic um, Python file and I'm just going to name this um, first name it anything you want and also the extension for Python files are .py so make sure you have Python files selected and also name it .py why not what was that noise you know another thing I live next to a fire station so all the time this stupid uh, fire alarms going off so it's really annoying but anyways back to the store what oh yeah right now I'm here in the train I hate making videos in my living room all right so delete anything out of your Python file and let's just run a simple command let's just print something out so print we already know how to use this in here put a string like I hope this works and now in order to run this as you can see whenever you're making a, an actual program you just can't hit enter and it runs like your um your shell so what you need to do for the first time is right click it and hit run first and get out of the way now all of your results are going to pop up in this little command window down here so whenever you change something else like I love tuna and hit run your new results are going to pop up down here so that way you can work on all your stuff up here your files are on the left and the results are on the bottom now whenever you run it for the first time you do have to right click it and hit run but anytime after that you can just click this button or hit shift F10 but I just click this button it's a little bit easier and that runs your entire um, project so now that you have a sweet IDE we can now actually start making some cool programs. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.